You know, in this life, it's very easy for us to focus on the monotony of things. But having to go to a job for 40 hours a week, about having to go to the grocery store, about having to do laundry, about having to do all of these basic things that we have to do during the course of life. It's easy to get in this rhythm. And in that rhythm, there's often a rut. There's a rut. There just is. There's this crack that we fall in where we just go through the motions and we just do things. We do them without intention. We do them without appreciation. We do them without purpose. We just do the things that we have to do because we have to do them. Not because we care. And as a result, we do them without care. But this is a new season, my friends. It's a season of gratitude and encouragement. Gratitude. To be grateful. It's hard. It really is. Especially when you have all of these things on your plate. You know, we, we just stack things on top of each other and stack more things on top of each other and more things and more things because we want the world. And in order to have the world, we have to do all of these things. And I get it. I get it. We all want nice things. We all want to have lives that are full of joy and love. We want to have fun. But in the course of stacking all of those things on top of each other, we sometimes forget about the basics of this life. We forget about purposeful living. And most certainly we forget about gratitude. So what does it mean to be grateful? What does it mean to to sit in appreciation and soak up all of the goodness that's in your life? You know, whenever I find moments that I'm disconnected, where I'm not grateful, where I'm just going through the motions, where I'm moving through life without intention, I just stop just for a minute. Maybe I only have a day. Maybe I only have a couple hours. Maybe in the rare instance, I can spare a night or a weekend. I plant myself in nature. For you, maybe that's fishing, maybe that's hunting, maybe that's going on a camping trip, maybe that's just sitting on the porch and looking at the stars or the sunset, maybe that's sitting in the backyard and doing a bonfire, or maybe it's going to the mountains. Maybe it's sitting in stillness. You know where I am right now, I don't have cell service. I can't even work my phone. It's of no use. It's basically just a camera. But there's a beauty in that, turning off the distraction, really being grateful for all of the splendor that's around me. And when you sit at the base of a mountain and you look at the beauty of God's creation, you're reminded of all that we are to be grateful for in this life, of all that God's blessed us with, of the majesty of God's creation. And we are all God's creation. Both you and I, friend, you're part of God's creation. And we're meant to be a part of God's creation. Not to be working separately. Not to be doing something all on our own. Not to have our heads down, planted in our own selfish desires, our own selfish things, but to contribute to the world. To contribute to God's creation. Some say God is a painter. Painting this wonderful mosaic. God needs you to be a part of the creation. God needs your skills, your talent, your love, your purposeful intention. That you might walk through this life with gratitude. That you might be reminded of all that you have been blessed with and truly appreciate the creation that you are. And the majesty of God that surrounds you. So when it gets hard, when the world gets loud... Find yourself some space and find yourself with God. I promise you, in the stillness, at the foot of the mountain, you will hear the voice of God in this moment and in all the moments to come. It's all that easy and it's all that hard. Thanks for watching. These are your thoughts, Tita. This is the hope of God set free. These 
how you talk It's 